Hi guys, <clears throat> it is a spectacularly gorgeous Easter Sunday here in the end times out here in the Point Lonesome Swamp where I am hiding out from the normies <clears throat> taking over crazy crane campground here in my secret, secret garden. <coughs> this is how I am spending this lovely Easter Sunday. That would be Sunday, April 4th, 2021, heading into the final two weeks, what I think will be my final two weeks here in Florida before heading back to Bugs in a Jar Farm uh, in New York, baby, and uh, making all my travel plans, and I'm looking forward to meeting all you folks. I want to thank, what is it, nine nine tribes members I hope to meet up with between here in New York and make some new friendships and starting a new <coughs> Easter Sunday time for regrowth time to start thinking about sticking my hands in the ground and planting seeds and uh starting springtime, summertime projects. So uh, I have been over looking at the various seed catalogs, trying to find, and I finally found this outfit <coughs> that I recommend called Etsy, E-T-S-Y, which is a, I guess what this website does is it just surfs all the other different seed companies you know looking for the seeds you want so I just put in my order and I highly advise you do too for my ambrosia cantaloupes my ambrosia cantaloupes and my Kentucky Wonder pole beans the only cantaloupe I will eat is the ambrosia, which is actually, I think, technically a musk melon and not a cantaloupe. And the Kentucky Wonder pole bean, uh, I think the ambrosia is a hybrid, probably, but of course the Kentucky Wonder, the only bean worth eating, and the pole bean, not the bush bean, is one of these heirloom, organic heirloom seeds. So I highly suggest you get out there and start ordering your ambrosia cantaloupe and your Kentucky Wonder pole beans. Start getting them in the ground. But uh, So I've been thinking about all of these new things that I need to crank up. Of course, I've also been thinking about things I need to get rid of out of my life here facing another summer and this will probably go out of focus which is a good thing and leading the list of things I need to get rid of is this thing is this goddamn thing that has sprouted talk about a, a ripe melon uh, how the hell have I let this happen? Uh, this disgusting looking pot belly that uh, has grown up uh, pretty much just since the beginning of the year. You know, I lost 15 pounds. I was so busy last year up at Bugs in a Jar busting my ass that I actually dropped 15 pounds and then when I got here to Florida you know I hit the ground running getting crazy crane but between January 1st and April 1st in three months I have managed to certainly put back on the 15 pounds if not more and I you know I'm really trying to figure out this fat ugly uh, you can't call it a beer belly because I hardly drink any beer. I just don't get it. Uh, how this thing grew off of me in three months has something to do, I'm sure, with being 61. And I, I can't sit here and fat shame uh, all of these, you know, these whales uh, showing up on my pod of whales feed 
and uh, and be shaming uh, uh, other people for letting themselves go when uh, I have completely let myself go but I don't really understand why because guys I really don't feel like I eat that much uh, you know I get plenty of exercise I try to walk you know this two and a half miles a day I'm out there canoeing, kayaking, hiking, working around the hip camp, running up and down that ladder, uh, stacking, you know, gathering and stacking firewood. Uh, I, I'm getting a hell of a lot more exercise than most of the other 61-year-olds I know. And the rest of my body, you know, my, my legs, my ass, my chest, my arms, uh, it, it's just like the rest of my body I'm fine with. Uh, it, it, if you didn't count uh, th this goddamn Pillsbury Doughboy uh, hunk of flubber, this, th this, this spare tire of adipose tissue, uh, you know, from my lower rib cage to my hip bones, uh, I would probably have the BMI that I need to have, which is 21 or under. So right now, uh, I am flirting, I guess for the second time in my life, I am right up against the BMI of 24, which would put me in the uh, category of overweight, which means I would share, I would join 68% of my fellow clueless fucking moron Americans, the 68% of Americans who are now uh, officially minimally overweight, if not obese, if not morbidly obese. So uh, I, I do not want to join the 68%. I want to stay in the, what would that be, the 32% minority of Americans still being able to make the claim they're not overweight. And one thing I, I, I don't get about this belly is when I get up in the morning, uh, this belly doesn't seem to be near as big. You know, when I, when I go to bed at midnight, uh, it looks like I just swallowed a watermelon. But when I get up in the morning, you know, eight hours later, I, you know, it, it, it's still bad, but it doesn't look like I swallowed a fucking watermelon. It just looks like I swallowed, I don't know, an ambrosia cantaloupe instead of a uh, crimson sweet watermelon. And I want to know, where does that belly go during the night? Am, am, I, am I farting it out? Is, is, is some of this... Uh, tub of lard? Is, is some of it just air? A, a, am I ripping farts all night? So I get up in the morning and I, you, you know, I look at myself uh, in the mirror and, and, and I say, I what I want to do is just have my belly, I guess, at midnight look like it does at 8 a.m. Uh, that's going to be the low bar I set for myself and so I'm figuring out the uh, horrible trade-off uh, I'm gonna have to make and uh, the last time I dealt with this when I when I bumped up against the 20 the dreaded 24 BMI I was 37 years old 37 years old and all I did okay all I did uh, in the fall of 1996 is I stopped bringing home ice cream and potato chips. Okay, I just, I, I just, I, I didn't even completely eliminate ice cream and potato chips from my diet. I just simply stopped bringing home, you know, the half gallon carton of uh, double fudge brownie ice cream and the, and the pound family size bags of uh, potato chips and whatnot. And by making that one decision, 
I went drop from 167 to 145. I lost 22 pounds simply by not bringing home ice cream and potato chips with me. Now, of course, I was 37 years old, and I had the metabolism of a 37-year-old man instead of a 61-year-old man, so I am going to make... I'm going to finish out the goddamn ice cream and potato chips and all of that shit that I have sitting in my kitchen. Over the next two weeks, I'm basically just going to nosh through... Uh, all of this blubber inducing shit that I've been eating since January 1st. So by the time I pull out of here for New York, uh, hopefully two weeks from tomorrow, I will pretty much have no food uh, in, my, in my cooler. And <clears throat> the other main thing that I need to get rid of, guys, are, are these sugary drinks. Now, I don't even drink soft drinks, you know, Coke and Pepsi and Mountain Dew and all of that crap, but uh, I, I drink a shitload of the sugary fruit juices uh, and sweet iced tea. It, it, you know, as the, I've been, you know, as the weather's been getting hot, I pretty much seven days a week, I am drinking, I would say, a half gallon of the sugary sweet drinks. So I'm going, with one exception, I am going to eliminate those things. I'm just simply going to stop drinking them. Uh, I'm going back to water and unsweet tea. I might put one teaspoon of, of real sugar uh, in, in a glass of iced tea, but uh, I'm hoping by getting rid of the chips, the ice cream, and the sugary drinks that I can take care of this belly. Now, of course, the one sugary drink uh, still remaining is my Simply Limeade. And I'm, so what I've decided on the margaritas is only have one margarita per day instead of two, just make it a double. So instead of having one shot of tequila in my, in my sundown margarita, I'm just going to put two shots of tequila, which will also mean one ounce less of Simply Limeade. Uh, so I will be more than having, or less than having, however you want to call that, uh, my Simply Limeade uh, and have one double tequila shot margarita. Now, guys, I noticed that some of you, I think, actually believed what I, uh, you know, that uh, that satire, that ironic satire I put out about uh, that I was quitting margarita drinking. Uh, that was a Corona Panic video pointing out uh, you know, that had nothing to do with margaritas, uh, but I am going to, uh, to cut out more than half of the Simply Limeade, all of the other sugary fruit juices, and the sweet tea, and I should be aiming, making my bar to get back to 145, but 150, you know, I'm a 61-year-old uh, man, so I am, uh, I am making the public announcement that uh, I am cutting out all of this shit until I get back to 150. Now, when I hit 150, and I am going to be optimistic and say when instead of if, uh, when I get back to New York, when I get down to 150 again, uh, I can slowly start uh, bringing this shit back into my diet and just keep an eye on things. But, uh, you know, I, 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 I sit there, you know, looking at all of these fat women on pile of fish and... Uh, how can I 
you know, one thing about fat women, about when it's only in the belly, uh, like the, the, the last Doomer chick that I had sex with, if a woman, and this is the same for a man, you know, if, if, if a woman has this issue, simply put her on her back and, and go for it missionary style. It's amazing how when you're actually having sex with somebody that if they just lie on their back, so I guess if I ever find a Doomer chick to have sex with again uh, and, and I want to get rid of my own belly, I simply lie on my back and get her to climb up on top and then I have to look at her fucking fat ass belly uh, hanging down. Uh, so I think I would rather have her looking at my fat ass belly but why should any woman, uh, you know, who, who has the self-respect uh, and the uh, self-determination to keep her own BMI uh, below 24 and hopefully below 22, why should I expect her to do all the heavy lifting, as it were, and while I run around, you know what I'm saying, turnabout's fair play. I, 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 can't, uh, I, I, I can't bitch about uh, any woman with a BMI any more than mine. So uh, I, I'm trying to put the law of attraction into order here. So maybe neither one of us need to lie on our back so we don't gross out the other one while we're fucking. Of, of course, I guess we could turn the lights off, but uh, I don't know. I'm just one of those guys who likes to leave the lights on. But uh, <laughs> anyway, that is a another rant for another day because there's... Uh, <laughs> here we go again. I'm moving my uh, pile of fish ad tonight. I'm going to move it back to New York. So uh, I hope I find uh, hope I find the Doomer chick I've been looking for somewhere on the road between uh, Inverness, Florida, and Ithaca, New York. And uh, maybe I can hog tie her and drag her up to Bugs in a Jar Farm. But anywho, these are the thoughts on an old man's mind on the Easter Sunday. And time to, uh, time to get the lead out to trim the fat and start planting seeds for another summer in the end times. I have no idea where I'm getting the energy to do what I need to do. Just looking uh, at this shit that I need to pack up and start this whole adventure again. But somehow, somehow, I, I have no idea how I keep finding the energy to uh, get out there and get her done. So get out there and get her done while you still can, and I will see you somewhere on the road from Florida to New York, baby, or come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm Hip Camp, which will be up and running Memorial Day. Bye, guys.